Welcome Japanese woodblock print collectors and enthusiasts. Today I thought I'd do a deeper dive into an often overlooked but charming and very affordable series by Ando Hiroshige's favorite and best student, Shigenobu, also known as Hiroshige II and Hiroshige II. The series we'll be looking at is 48 Famous Views of Edo, published in 1860. Hopefully you've already seen my video on the three Hiroshige's where we talk about the Hiroshige lineage. That's him down on the lower left side. If you need a reminder, Hiroshige II was Ando Hiroshige's adopted son, his best and most famous student, the one who married and later divorced Hiroshige's daughter, and the one who took over the Hiroshige name after Ando Hiroshige died in 1858. Now, let's take a look at one of these prints. This is Myo Kendo Temple at Yanagishima. The title of the series, 48 Famous Views of Edo, is in the red rectangular block at the right top of the print. The title of the scene is in this fan-shaped scroll cartouche next to it. The number of each print is on the bottom rolled up edge of the scroll. The censor seal and publisher's marks are on the outside border and Hiroshige 2's signature is on the block lower on the page. The size format of this print is called Chuban, which is about 7 inches by 10 inches. Here you can see a Chuban print is about one half the most common print size, Oban, which is 10 by 15 inches. The series dates from close to the start of Hiroshige 2's career, when he was about 34 years old. At this point, he had just started using the name Hiroshige, since his master, Ando Hiroshige, had just died in 1858. The publisher was Tatsuya Kichizo, who also published Hiroshige's works. I think this series is definitely his best landscape series in the smaller Chuban format. Even though these prints are small, they pack a lot of detail and the compositions are strong. Let's take a look at some of my favorite prints in this series starting with this print of Shiba Shinmei Shrine. Since it's a winter scene, it has a sparse color palette. There's a nice black-gray gradation in the sky that reveals the snowflakes falling. In this series, he often uses these uh, stylized cloud shapes to help divide parts of the scene and add to the atmosphere. The people below add some splashes of color as they go about their business. Here's another snow scene of Kanda Myojin Shrine, a similar snowy environment with these tall trees in the center. This print is Kin Ryuzan Temple at Asakusa, a design with a lot of color. The zoomed out perspective really gives us a feeling for the size of the temple. Notice those stylized clouds again, and I love the busy scene below with all the people. It's hard to believe he could pack all that detail into such a small sized print. Here's another busy scene. This is Hudo Temple at Meguro, starting with the stylized cloud at the top, blending into the dense forested area that then blends into the temple grounds. It was believed that bathing in these springs or the waterfall at the temple would cure illness. The next print is Nihonbashi Fish Market. We see Mount Fuji in the background, Nihonbashi Bridge, and a very busy fish market. If we compare this to his master Hiroshige's print of Nihonbashi from the series Famous Sites of the 53 Stations, and you can see the similarities in the stylized clouds and the view on the fish market. This type of copying or borrowing of designs was very common across all the ukiyo-e artists. And if you think about it, how many pictures by different people have you seen of Times Square in New York or the Golden Gate Bridge? Most of them look similar as well. Here's another example. This is Surugamachi by Hiroshige II. And here is Surugacho from Hiroshige's 100 Famous Views of Edo. Unfortunately, like many artists, Hiroshige II fell into poverty towards the end of his life and died in 1869 in Yokohama at the young age of 44. I mentioned at the beginning of this video that this is a very affordable series. 
you can easily find original prints for about $200 each. Compare that to uh, his series of 100 famous views in the various provinces, where the prices range from $1,000 to $30,000 depending on the print and the quality. I'll make a video on this series another time. Please like and subscribe, and happy collecting!